The migration process we are about to perform consists of two steps. Analyze, then migrate. Open the Pi Process Book to PyVision Migration Utility and click the Add Files dropdown and select Folders. Select the C Process Book folder that we have been working on. Note that the files and folders need to be stored on a local drive to be migrated. Now, on the left hand side of the utility, we can expand the folders and see all the displays. Click Select All and then Run Analysis. Once complete, we can look at the results on the right pane. By default, we see the results are shown in Summary View, but can be changed to Tree View using the button on the top right. Changing back to Summary View, let's look more closely at what the results mean. Hovering over each eye icon next to the categories show the full definition. Most of our displays can be fully migrated, but there is one display, the IT display, that can only be partially migrated. In the Issues column, we can see what is causing this, which is VBA code. If we hadn't seen this VBA code before and wanted to look at it, we could click Export VBA on the bottom while the display is selected. This allows you to go to the display's owner with specific VBA information without having to open up the VBA in each individual display. Once complete, we can find this VBA code as well as an Excel report of our analysis by going to View Reports, Open Reports folder. The Excel report contains a more detailed view of the information we saw earlier. Each row is a symbol on a display, and you can see if there are any formatting or other issues that could come up in migration. If we are satisfied with the analysis and feel that our displays will be migrated how we want them, we can proceed to migration. An important thing to note here, since we are migrating all our displays at once, the links between the displays will be preserved. With all our displays selected, we can click Migrate Displays. This opens up a dialog box with migration settings that need to be filled out. Our PyVision URL is pysrv one dash PyVision, which you can enter then connect to. Since these are the first displays we are migrating, we don't have a folder structure yet in PyVision, so we will leave this folder as home. We will select the target display owner as our user, PySchool Student01. This can always be changed after migration. In this case, we are only presented with one option, but other options will appear as users are granted access to PyVision or create displays. For display sharing, we will leave the default of World, which will make these displays accessible by anyone who can access PyVision. Again, this can always be changed later and comes from your AF identities. We will select to persist our folder structure to keep the folder structure our displays were in as we migrate them to PyVision. We will also select Migrate Pi Calculation Datasets since we know we have some in our displays. Then we click OK and wait for the migration to complete. After the migration has completed, we can click View Reports to see the migration report, which shows the status and the links to the migrated displays.